Hello, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Liferay 6.2 development tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create your first Liferay portlet. In the previous uh, sessions, we have seen how to create, uh, how to configure your Liferay portal and Liferay ID with Liferay plugins SDK and Liferay portal server. So uh, I have been doing that in a different machine. Uh, unfortunately, I have to uh, move to a brand new machine, and here I'm. I have con I have the same setup which I have done in the previous machine. Uh, I can show you. Uh, here is my Liferay plugins SDK, and I have the Liferay portal, and I have an Eclipse and a workspace I have created. And I have configured my plugins SDK and uh, Liferay server with the Liferay IDE. So, and also I have started my Liferay portal into the console, and uh, I could uh, I could um, log into my Liferay portal in my Google Chrome browser. So he here is what I am going to do in this session. I am going to uh, create uh, the first uh, portlet uh, for. Uh, life right so how how you can create uh, your um, portlet is either you can click on this icon and it will open up a new life right plugin project you can click this it will open up the plugin uh, project creation wizard or you go to the file new life right plugin project uh, or you can click on the other and you will see life right and life right plugin project so you click on next uh, you can see the project name i'm going to create my first uh, portlet named wow life ray and i am going to leave the rest of the things as default i'm going to use the ant builder and the life ray plugin sdk which has been previously configured and i have the life ray runtime and i'm selected to include the sample code and we can see there is uh, other plugins which is um, service builder who clay or template theme those plugins also available you can choose any but uh, our motto is to create a portlet so we are choosing the portlet and clicking on next and i'll tell you there is a lot of frameworks which you can use for uh, making a life portlet uh, uh, something like Spring Framework you can use, you can use JSF Vadin, but I am going to choose Liferay MVC which is a simple lightweight framework from Liferay um, portal, Liferay team uh, and it's a Liferay MVC framework we call it as and choose that and click on finish when first time you creating a portlet it, it will take a long time if you are connected to internet it will download a lot of um, plugins and libraries um, for your uh, application which is actually required for running your library plugins SDK for the portlets and here is the portlet structure uh, I got my first portlet created you can see a doc root folder under that you, you here uh, under that um, all the CSS folder and JS folder all the CSS files will be uh, moving to this uh, CSS folder or you can edit the main.css which is relevant for your portlet and then uh, you can see the manifest mf and uh, then the web ino folder and there is a lib folder inside it and your tag libraries and you have um, four important files you have life ray display.xml life ray plugin package then life ray portlet then portlet xml and the web.xml also but uh, the web.xml is um, not meant for uh, the uh, portlets portlets important file is portlet.xml so we will visit we will revisit these files and we will learn uh, these things detailed uh, in the coming ses uh, sessions and here is uh, my view.jsp file so this is the mm, file which is going to show up when uh, after i deploy the portlet so you can see uh, there is only one statement this is the wow life ray portlet is uh, mentioned in this uh, jsp file i'm just going to deploy this portlet for deploying you have to right click on the portal go to life ray you will see sdk and you can click on deploy so it will build your war file and move to the deploy folder of uh, your uh, portal 
so let's wait while it's building uh, you can see uh, it's copying five files and uh, you, you will see the plugins sdk dist has been generated with the wow life reportlet war file and uh, after that that file is copying one file to your portal that your life ray portals deploy folder so if you go to your life ray portal you will see a deploy folder actually the war file is moved to this place for the deployment so once it is moved to here what will happen the life ray portals auto deploy functionality will take care of um, registering that portlet and moving and exploding that here into your web apps folder of your tomcat server so th that's all happened uh, as of now you can see in the web apps folder our wow life ray portlet uh, has been deployed and if you look at the console you can see one portlet for wow life ray portlet is available for use a message is also coming there and when, um, at this time if you go to your portal and you open up your uh, applications you will see the wow life ray is uh, deployed and shown up here as a plugin you just click on add you will see the wow life ray portlet uh, displayed on that jsp is displayed on your portal so th this statement is uh, given in the view.jsp that that has got um, successfully working on your portal page so that that's it for this session and in the uh, coming uh, sessions uh, we will be uh, learning more to uh, modify the view.jsp and adding more functionalities and features to uh, this wow life ray portlet thank you for watching the videos uh, from skillbell keep supporting us thank you again